with Greenpeace. Greenpeace objected to the building of London's Heathrow Airport. Now that part I don't agree with, but Greenpeace achieved its objective in a very legal way. It purchased the land and is refusing to sell it to the people who want to construct on Heathrow Airport. As someone who supports property rights, I have no problem with this. If Greenpeace was willing to pay market price for the land, they can do whatever they want with it. If government force is not involved, I don't have a problem with it. If people really wanted to construct Heathrow Airport, they should have bought the land. End of story. Right on, right on. Now, I don't necessarily agree with everything you say, but you show to have some integrity. Good job, good job. Oh, what's that? You want to add something else? <laughs> Go right ahead. Well, PETA, you know, the People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals or the People for Eating Tasty Animals, wants an empathy center for fish because of all the fish that die each year. An empathy center for fish. <laughs> People eating tasty animals. That's funny, Lee. <laughs> and I bet those salad eaters want the government to pay for it also. But let's check out that article just to be sure about that, shall we? Wait a second. It says here that PETA has applied to take ownership of those lighthouses. And that by doing so, they would be helping the government shed the cost of preservation of them. Let me see if I got this right. PETA will be purchasing this property, and they'll have de jure property rights over it, and they'll also be relieving the government from spending money on these lighthouses. Doesn't that seem a little bit hypocritical, then, that you would insult them? Don't you have anything nice to say about them, Lee? I, I, I got nothing. I didn't think so.